we live, as, as uh, Mickey Donnelly said, in interesting times. It's a, it's a very peculiar situation, and Ireland in some ways exemplifies the situation that we currently live in very well. Neoliberalism and capitalism is, is very apparent in Ireland. So now on the, in the media, you'll hear a lot about uh, the success of the economy, the health of the economy, the fact that uh, we've turned a corner, we're back into recovery, and all of these things in some sense are true but they're true from a certain perspective. So the question that one has to ask is, who is it a success for? Who is getting the wins out of these things, and who is it a recovery for? So for instance, uh, we see property prices go back up, and that is a success for somebody, but it's not a success for us. So one of the problems that we have is creating an idea of our own interests. And what are, who are us? Us is the working class. So essentially, there is a class difference between interests. And the ruling class, the capitalist class, the investors, the entrepreneurs, all of these people, they have different interests. The, the rentier class, the people who are renting apartments or purchasing and speculating in property. For us, when, when property prices go up, that actually decreases our quality of life because it means it's more expensive for us to live. So, when, when uh, the capitalists don't invest in jobs, it means we don't have jobs, we have to fight over jobs, and we have lower wages. So Ireland, in, in some ways, is, is a, a tax haven sort of uh, economy. And that, that provides a lot of sort of structure on how it is that we might try to find a way forward in building up a working class movement in opposition to this idea that all of production and investment should be controlled by a specific group of people that's outside of our control. The real locus of power in modern society is not in the political realm. In fact, it's in the economic realm. Now, it doesn't matter how democratic you make your society, as long as the, the reins of control for investment and production are held by a private group that's outside of the political sphere, we will never be able to actually have a democratic society. So in order to have democracy, we actually need economic democracy. And that means the working class having control and management and of investment and production itself. So the current model for social democracy, the Labour Party, the Labour Party in the UK, the various different socialist parties uh, around Europe, has been high taxation on incomes and high VAT. And that's sort of the main way that they try to provide public services. Now, this has been rolled back everywhere. And we've seen this in, throughout the world. We see austerity regimes. It's not just the Eurozone. Other countries who aren't even in the Eurozone, Japan, Sweden, various different uh, um, Iceland, have all seen this movement towards austerity. And part of that has to do with the fact that capital is now able to move itself around quite easily. So that it doesn't have very much bounds on, on the, it's not enclosed. Now for us to have a strategy for trying to build up a working class movement, uh, that puts, us, puts serious constraints on us. So in this economic policy document, I put forward some suggestions about ways that we might try to gain more control over the situation. So, we, you've probably heard in the media that we can't raise corporation tax because the corporations will leave. Now, some of that's not true. I mean, you could probably raise the corporation tax uh, a moderate amount and they won't leave. But if you do raise it a certain amount, they actually will leave. Multinational corporations can move to Poland or other countries and they can escape the taxation that we try to um, impose upon them. In order to get around this problem, we really need to move away from trying to get foreign direct investment in Ireland and start trying to build up an industrial base in Ireland that will have the capacity to stay here and won't be able to leave, will not be able to take flight. And some of the ways that we can do this is by trying to build up state industries, state-led industries, and cooperatives. In the case of state-led industries, they can't leave because they're part of the state, so it makes they're in some ways captured. Cooperatives, likewise, they have no interest in leaving to go somewhere else because it's formed by the workers themselves. So there is no vested interest in moving to Poland because all the workers would have to move to Poland as well. So these two things 
if, if we try to promote these sorts of industries, we can build up a working class movement and a working class movement for management of the economy that won't be so, uh, won't, will, will be able to uh, stay in Ireland and not just uh, be under the situation where capital is going to fly away whenever you try to take some of it. Eventually, what we need to do is have total control, it, total democratic control of all investment and production. But to get to that, we need a large working class socialist movement. And in order to get to that, we need to have greater and greater uh, control over our workplaces. And that means building up unions, building up cooperatives, and building up the state sector. Okay. Great. Thanks, Gavin. <laughs>